Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Paper Rose Studios Woodland Friends 6x8 Quick Cards Collection. This is a fairly new product that Paper Rose started carrying. They have a few different collections available. I love the look of the Woodland Friends. The collection includes some inspiration sheets. There are sample ideas of six different cards you can create. The pack includes 18 double-sided pattern papers, three each of 12 designs. And what's so fun is one side already has the look of layers. Each sheet will either have a floral strip or a gingham strip, and it looks like it's layered on cardstock. But this is one single sheet, no layers. On the back side, there's a tone-on-tone -tone pattern. Some have a wood grain look, others have a linen texture look, but all of the cardstock is smooth. Overall, the designs are fairly similar, florals and ginghams. The colors are different on each of the sheets, but they all coordinate together. The nice thing about the paper being six by eight inches, it's easy to create two backgrounds for an A2 size card from one sheet. I think the colors in the collection are nice and neutral, so they're perfect for masculine or feminine cards. Here's a look at the back side of the paper. Three of them have a wood grain design in different colors. The other three have the same linen texture look in three different colors. So that's all 12 different designs and the last six are just repeats. I love having duplicates of the same design so I can make multiples of the same cards. In addition to the 18 sheets of pattern paper, there is one sentiment sheet. This is a cut apart sheet lots of sentiments and a really nice variety of different sentiments. And on the very left side of the sheet, there are small images that look like pieces of washi tape. There are also three pop out die cut sheets. The images and sentiments easily pop out. I like to use my scissors to trim off the small white tab. One sheet is all woodland creatures. The other two sheets have large circle images with a pretty border and several other sentiments. The label sentiments on the pop-out sheets are similar to the sheet where you do need to fussy cut it. So that's everything that's included in the 6x8 Quick Cards collection. If you feel you need more images and sentiments, you can also buy just the die cut and sentiment pack. And they're duplicates of what's included in the Quick Cards collection. I will be using both of the packs in my video. And I've already gone ahead and either fussy cut or punched out the images and sentiments. So let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. Most of my cards in this video are very simple. That's one of the nice things about using the quick cards collection. You can keep the cards simple or you can step them up and add extra detail. I will be using cardstock for layering, and I do have a list of most of the cardstock colors I'm using over on my blog. There are a few colors I'm not sure of the name, but for the rest of them, I did put a list on my blog. And the link for my blog is in the description box, or you can simply head over to christymarcotte.com. I also share close-up pictures of all of the cards and other products used in this video. Now that this card is almost finished, I used one of the pattern papers for the background, added an adorable fox image, also one of the sentiments, sending lots of love. In the upper left-hand corner, I put two of the washi tape pieces, and I did trim them down just a bit. The background of the card is four inches by five and a quarter inches, so I can easily get two backgrounds from one sheet of paper. I do end up with about a half inch strip left over. I cut that in half and I'm using that extra piece to put on the inside of the card. For card design number one, I did make a total of six cards. All of the cards feature the same pattern paper for the background. Three of the cards use the pattern paper with just the floral design. And I use the back side of the pattern paper to add that additional piece down the center, then layered it on some cardstock. Now moving on to card design number two. This card will be horizontal instead of vertical. The background panel is five and a quarter inches by four inches. I'll layer it on some green cardstock. Using the same green cardstock, I cut a four and a quarter by two and a half inch panel. And on the right side of the panel, I'll add an image box. This is one and three fourths of an inch by two inches. 
I'll put ATG tape on the back and adhere my green panel in the center of my card. This card will feature the adorable raccoon. I'll adhere that down using some glue. Before adding the sentiment, I'll first attach one of the washi tape pieces. I did put some scrap cardstock on the left side, just on the area where it goes off of the white image box. I'll put glue on the back and adhere it on the left side of the image and in the upper left hand corner of the green panel. Now I'll add the sentiment, happy birthday to you, and I'm offsetting it just slightly. I didn't want to cover up all of the washi tape design. Most of my cards I am keeping nice and flat and not adding any dimension or bling, but for a few cards I did bring in Paper Roses Clear Crystal Mix. And I do want to mention the crystals do not come in the small plastic container, they come in a zippered pouch. I'll put three around the sentiment and two in the lower left hand corner. And I am using an embellishment wand to pick those up, adding just a small drop of Barely Art glue, then pressing them in place. So there is my finished card, and this time I made a total of four. The other card features an adorable owl image and the sentiment feel better soon. For card design number three, I am using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from Cards TV, it's sketch number 51. I selected this lovely dusty pink pattern paper for the background. And for this card, I'm adding a couple extra strips. I have some of the pink wood grain and also some solid cardstock. I'll put adhesive on the back. First add the wood grain strip, then the solid cardstock strip on top. And I did cut the strips just a little bit wider than my card, so I did flip over the panel, used my scissors, and trimmed off the extra. I'll layer this piece on the same dusty pink cardstock color. I believe the name of the color is Concerto by Coordinations. It matches beautifully with the dusty rose colors in the pattern paper. Then I'll put ATG tape on the back, add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Next, I'll add the image box. Before adhering it to the card, I will put a scrap cardstock piece just on the upper portion where it goes off of the two narrow strips. Then I'll adhere it in place. Now I'll bring in several of the critter images. I have a deer, a bear, and a sweet little owl. I'll put the deer on the right side, then I'll add the bear. The owl will stand in front of the bear, so I did put some scrap pattern paper behind it, just in the area where it doesn't overlap on the bear. Then I'll adhere it in place with some glue. For a sentiment, I'm adding sending birthday wishes. I'll cut a fishtail on the left side, and I'll adhere it above the bear with part of the sentiment going off of the image box. On the left side of the sentiment, I will put some thin foam dimension, and that'll help keep it nice and level. I'll remove the release paper, put glue on the back of the rest of the sentiment, and adhere it above the bear on the left side. So there is my finished card, and I did make four using this design. The other card features a mama and baby llama, and the sentiment just for you. Several of the images have a mom and baby together. Or it could be a dad and baby, or maybe a big brother, little sister, lots of different possibilities. For card design number four, the card sketch is from Sketch Saturday. This is number 591. Instead of making a horizontal card with the pattern paper strip on the left side, I decided to make a vertical card with the floral strip at the bottom. On the right side of the card, I'm adding a panel of the gray linen texture design, layering it on some gray cardstock, then I'll adhere it on the right side. I'll also layer the background piece on some gray cardstock, adhere my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. For a sentiment, I'll be using two of the sentiment strips, and the image is a sweet little moose. I put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back of the sentiments. I'll first add, wish you were here, and underneath it, sending lots of hugs. The top sentiment more toward the left, and the bottom sentiment shifted off to the right. I'll put glue on the back to adhere the moose. And for a little extra detail, I cut one of the label pieces in half, and I'll adhere it on the left side of the linen strip. 
I'm tucking the very edge of the label piece underneath the cardstock layer. For a final finishing touch, I'll add three white enamel stickers around the mousse and sentiment. So there is my finished card, and I did make four using this design. The other card has a sweet little fox and the sentiment, thinking of you, let's catch up soon. I love how this card turned out. The fox image is one of my favorites. The colors in the collection have more of an autumn look, but I think they still work year round. Now moving on to card design number five. For this card, I'm using the side of pattern paper that doesn't already have the pre-printed strip. I cut a two inch strip of the green and white gingham pattern paper and I'll layer it on some gray cardstock, sort of a greenish gray cardstock color. I'll layer the background piece on gray cardstock, put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. For an image, I'll be adding one of the large circles. There's sweet little koalas in the center and a lovely floral frame. Before adhering it down, I remembered I wanted the gingham strip more on the left side instead of centered. Luckily, I was able to peel it up and reattach it. I did put a little bit of glue on the back side to make sure it would stay in place. Now I'll add the koala image. On the right side of this circle, I am adding a scrap piece of cardstock, and that'll help keep it nice and level. Then I'll adhere it in place using some glue. For a sentiment, I'm adding sending lots of love. I'll be adhering it in the lower right hand corner. For a little extra detail, I cut two narrow strips of the greenish gray cardstock. I have double sided adhesive tape on the back. Before adhering them down, I will add scrap cardstock pieces on the right and left side where it goes over the gingham strip. I'm laying the scrap cardstock pieces on the card so I can cut the correct amount for the right and left side. I'll first add the wider strip, then the narrow strip underneath, trying to get them nice and straight. Before adhering the last strip, I'll add the scrap cardstock piece on the right and left side. And I did need to trim some fairly small pieces to put underneath. Then I'll put glue on the back and adhere the narrow strip underneath the wider strip, leaving about one eighth of an inch between the two. Once those are adhered, I'll put glue on the back of the sentiment and adhere it in the lower right hand corner. For a final finishing touch, I'll add one of the washi tape pieces. I did trim off the very end so it'll be flush to the top. Before adhering it down, I will put some scrap pattern paper underneath on that top portion where it goes off of the circle die cut. Then I'll put glue on the back and adhere it in the upper left hand corner. So there is my finished card and I did make four using this design. The other card features the pattern paper with the pre-printed gingham in the center and I added the sentiment feel better soon. Now moving on to card design number six, and this is my final card design. I'm using the pattern paper with the pre-printed gingham strip down the center. I'll put adhesive on the back, layer it on some dark gray cardstock, then add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Across the card, I'm adding a strip of one and a half inch wood grain pattern paper, and I did cut it to the full A2 width. So it's a little bit wider than the pattern paper background. Next, I'll add a sweet deer image, one of the large circles with the lovely floral frame. Before adhering it down, I will add some scrap cardstock just in the area where it goes off of the wood grain strip. Then I'll adhere it in place with some glue. The sentiment is, thanks so very much. I'll add one of the washi tape pieces down first, then put the sentiment on top. So you'll see just a peak of the washi tape on the right and left side of the sentiment. And the upper portion of the sentiment will sit on top of the circle frame. So there is my finished card, and I did make four using this design. For the second card, I added a strip of the linen pattern paper on the left side. I use a stitch square die for the image box, and the image is a mama fox and her babies with the sentiment, welcome little one. And I also added some of the clear crystals around the image and sentiment. 
Now here's another look at the 26 cards I made using Paper Rose Studios Woodland Friends 6x8 Quick Cards Collection. This was a really fun collection to use. I love the design of the pattern paper. There are lots of sweet critter images and sentiments. If you need some quick and easy cards, this is a great collection to use. Or you can step up the designs by adding extra detail. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Paper Rose is located in Australia and they do ship their products internationally, but you can also purchase them here in the US and I have links for both locations in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.